A new poll by Leger suggests Canadians are increasingly wearing protective face masks as we emerge from months of isolating at home. But do cloth masks keep us safe? Hamilton researchers studied data over a century and suggest that homemade masks could be useful against COVID-19. Joining us this morning to shed light on the issue is Dr. Uh, Catherine Clay, Associate Professor of Medicine at McMaster. Dr. Clay, thank you very much for joining us this morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me on. What did you look at you, uh, over a century? Does this go back to the 1918 pandemic then and, and masks back then as well? Yes, exactly. That's when we when we found the very first papers that started looking systematically at how much of uh, particles get blocked by cloth. And we found uh, uh, in a large amount of evidence that shows that cloth, particularly in layers, does block particles. And, and this is and this has shown up throughout the studies that you looked at over the last hundred years then? Yes, there's, um, there's some consistency between the studies in the sense that we see some uh, materials performing well again and again, like um, multi-layer muslin, for example. Um, but the other thing that comes out of the studies, unfortunately, is that it does depend on the cloth and it does depend on the number of layers. So, you know, more information on this would really be very helpful. Were there uh, were there ones that I mean you mentioned muslin uh, were there ones that did not do as good a job uh, that maybe people should be aware of? Yes, yeah, single layers of scarf and single layers of handkerchief or even multiple layers of handkerchief don't work particularly well. But uh, in that situation, is it still worth considering wearing them though, even though they may not work as well as something like muslin? Yes, actually, that's what I think at the moment. Um, lacking the best evidence that we wish we had. I think just wearing a multi-layer cloth mask is probably the best thing that we can do. Probably made out of some kind of cotton, two layers, maybe three or four, if um, you can tolerate that thickness. But the problem is that as the as you add layers to a mask, then you decrease the uh, breathability of the mask, and that can make it a bit harder to wear. So I would say it's probably better to have a two-layer mask that you're wearing rather than a four-layer mask that's in your pocket. And if you're going into somewhere like uh, a, a supermarket or something like that, that's when you double up, but outside uh, a little lighter. But that's another very good possibility, actually, is that we'll have different masks for different settings. And we'll have a mask that we'll wear if we have to go to the supermarket, but maybe um, a totally different mask if we're just uh, walking in the street. And of course, this advice is going to vary, and it's going to come from public health according to how the pandemic is going in any particular community at any particular time. It may be that wearing masks outside may not be particularly important if we're outside walking on our own. Um, but public health advice at the moment is to, is to wear our masks, and I think that that is likely to, to be helpful in this pandemic. Now, the thing that we're missing is um, the clinical information. Like, what we would really like is to have a trial where we have people who wore masks and people who didn't wear masks, and we see a difference in infection rates, and we see that reduction in infection rates in people who wore the masks. And we really don't have good evidence on that topic at all. Um, but it's largely because the kinds of studies that we want are not there, because it hasn't been studied in the context of a pandemic like this. So my colleagues and I, we regarded this as an absence of evidence rather than, um, rather than a body of evidence saying that it doesn't work. And then we have the body of evidence saying that cloth can actually filter particles, even quite small particles. So then we put these together and wrote an opinion piece um, advocating for cloth masks. Um, that is now, of course, Canadian public okay. health policy. Great. Dr. Clays, thank you very much for joining us this morning and, and shedding some light on, on, on the history of it and the efficacy of them. We appreciate it. I really appreciate being on the show. Thanks very much. Have a good day.